without depending on power supply, without depending on diesel or precious natural resources. Using an inexhaustible, never failing, reliable power source, the Tata BP Solar Home Lighting System. Easy to install, easy to use, easy to maintain. Tata BP Solar's home lighting system consists of a 40 watt solar module, a 60 ampere battery, and a supporting structure to enable easy installation. These batteries are supplied in dry charged condition. It is important to ensure that they are not exposed to direct sunlight, naked flames or sparking devices, while also making sure that they are installed within three months from being received from the factory. Before installation, please also refer to the Health, Safety and Environment Manual and the Charging Instructions Card for optimal and safe use. Connect these with simple step-by-step -step procedures. Before beginning the installation, please ensure that all necessary personal protection equipment such as gloves, aprons and eye care are worn. Unplug the battery electrolyte can containing dilute sulfuric acid. Before unplugging the canister, shake the contents well and then transfer the same to a larger container exercising extreme caution. Mix the contents well again in the container. Check the specific gravity of the solution with the help of a hydrometer. The specific gravity should be between 1.10 and 1.20. The battery comes with transit plugs. Once removed, these are to be stored separately. These should be reused only at the time of sending the system back for the purpose of maintenance. Transfer the acid into the cells with the help of a funnel. While pouring the contents into the battery, heat will be generated as part of the acid's reaction with the material. This is an expected reaction and not a cause for concern. Once the cells have been filled, seal the battery with a set of porous plugs provided. Identify a shadow-free area on the rooftop to mount the solar module. Unpack the solar module and check for any physical damages. Loosen the screws of the module junction box and check the voltage at the terminals. The voltage must be higher than 17 volts. Connect the array cables while taking care to ensure the correct polarity. One end of the cables connects to the junction box while the other connects to the regulator. Close the box again after this has been done. To assemble the module, fix the mounting bracket using M5 fasteners. Before mounting the module, check the direction in which it is facing. Always ensure that the module is inclined towards the south and tilted to the specified angle. The angle of inclination is specified in the manual as per the geographic area.
unpack the battery box containing the luminaires, charge regulator, cables, user manual and other miscellaneous parts. Using the template, mark the installation area of 119mm on a wall. Fix the indexing units to the marked area and then fix the luminaire to the indexing unit by placing and pressing. The CFL luminaire is also provided with a spare fuse on the inside to replace a non-functioning fuse. The luminaire can be fixed at three different positions, facing down, facing the front and facing upwards. To remove the CFL luminaire from its socket, the safety lock needs to be undone. The CFL provided here is a 4-pin CFL which is easily available in the market. After the battery has been soaked for 3 hours, check the level of the electrolyte in all the cells individually. Follow this up by checking the voltage of the battery which should be above 12 volts. Once the voltage has been verified, connect the battery cables to the positive terminal and negative terminal. To avoid corrosion, grease the terminals of the battery and then place the safety caps on them. The regulator is provided with a fuse. Before initiating the process, ensure the exact flow of the procedure is understood and followed. First connect the battery cable to the regulator's battery point, followed by the load cables and then the array wires. The top right LED will turn green to indicate the battery on charge status, the MNRE specifications mandate that an additional socket be provided to enable 14-inch television sets to be connected to the same. The load cable from the regulator should now be routed to the luminous socket. A parallel connection can also be set up by making use of the second socket. The solar setup is now ready to use. Check the level of the electrolyte within the battery every three months. Wipe the front surface of the module at least once a month with clean water and a soft cloth. Inspect the array bias for any damage and repair the same with insulating tape. With this, you should now be able to enjoy the many benefits of the Tata PP Solar Home Lighting System. Let the sun shine brighter to make our planet cleaner and greener.